body at? Where is his body at? Hmm. I know. Oh, for there we go. There's the body. All right. Got a bunch of overseer stuff. Weapons locker. Taking all this stuff. Don't care if I get over encumbered. Your dad's dead, Amada. There's no sense in living in the past, even though it just happened one minute ago. Oh, I'll just talk to her for old time's sake. My God, what have you done? You killed him. Why would you kill my? I also robbed his corpse in front of you, but I don't think you feel so bad about that as you know you do that he's dead. That's cool. That's you know whatever. I should take out a weapon. Oh, is that Jonas? That is Jonas. That sucks ass. Poor Jonas. All right, what do we got going on here? Any, anything I can take? Anything? No, this is just silver walls and oh, a desk. Pre war money. Gonna be able to sell that. We got a door. Nice little room here. Really small room. Oh, it's the overseer's house, I think. Probably had the nicest house. Taking all that stuff. Overseer's key. Got a key and stuff. Alright, let's... Ooh, look at this little office he's got going on here. He's got some more lockers, but one's empty. Log on admin! Entering password. Password accepted. Copyright 2075. Uh, just open the freaking tunnel, please. Sweetness! We are getting out of here. We're gonna be moving on here. We're getting out of this vault. I'm gonna shut it behind me. Good times, good times. Oh, is that a rad roach? Can I punch Ooh. it? Oh, I'm Ow. bat. Bat conquers all. That's what I'm saying. One experience. And we are going to the massive entrance of Vault 101, which, uh, what the fuck? Oh, there's a switch here. Yes! Alright, what do we got going here? <sighs> Gasp. It's the door controls. Eh, oh, whatever, I'm switching to a pistol. The door open now! Oh whoa! What the? Oh my God. Yeah, I know. It's pretty cool. Good, you're leaving. I guess you were trying to help me, but you—you you didn't have to kill him. I kind of did. Oh, really? And who appointed you judge, jury, and executioner? I know he wasn't perfect, but he was my father. I thought you were my friend. He was the only family I had left. I thought you, of all people, would have understood that. Nope. You'd better get out of here before I change my mind and call the guards. Call him. I don't care. I killed him. Oh, look at him. He came through the door. He didn't even wait for it to open. And he's not going to wait for me to open my clip on his face. Oh, look at that. He's almost dead. Man, let's just, let's just back up and... Spam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not coming out here, huh? Oh, you guys are scared, huh? You, guys, you should be scared of bats is what you should be. Goodbye. There goes your head. There goes your head. I just got some experience. I'm taking all your stuff before I'm leaving. And we head out into the great beyond. This is what we're doing. We're heading out into the great beyond. I'm not over encumbered, am I? No. I think there's some skeletons out here. I, oh yeah, I just walked past all of them. They all have signs and stuff, and they're like, you know, let us in, motherfuckers, and help us, and we're dying, and 
it's kind of true because they did die. The skeletons are right there. The evidence is right in front of us. But we, we are very much alive and we are walking out of this crappy vault into the capital wasteland for the first time. And I am finished. We are done. That is the end of the game. Thank you for watching Fallout 3. It has been a blast. One hour, less than one hour in the game is already beaten. There's, you don't even get to level 2. Like, level 2 is in Fallout 4. Oh, the Enclave radio signal. Alright, what do we got going? Right, we gotta adjust our eyes and stuff. And You know, like, once you first get out here, it can be pretty over overwhelming if you don't, you know, know anything or, or other stuff. But <clears throat> we did level up. And I think I'm gonna start putting some, uh... I really want to say that for the Megaton thing, we need explosives to to disarm it, but I don't even know what I want to do with that yet, but I really want to boost up some uh, some lockpick. Melee weapons I'm probably pretty much done with for, for the time being, so I'm going to upgrade some small guns. I'm going to upgrade some speech too, so let's upgrade that to 19, and let's continue. And we get to choose a perk. So what's a perk that I want to get? I can get a thief. Gain five points to sneak and lockpick. No. Additional ten percent experience. No. Uh, five points of melee. No. Nope. <clears throat> can put a single point into any. Ooh, that one actually sounds pretty good. Actually, I think this is one that you might want to pick up. Oh, uh, let's go with uh, health intelligence for now. So, uh, you can die from fall damage. I, I don't exactly remember just how high you can fall, but pretty much first and foremost, because we don't have anything fucking found at all. Like, you can go and explore this little town over here. There's not much. There's some stuff more out there, but... Probably not gonna find a whole lot in these houses. Like you can't even go in any of them. I mean, you can go in them, but they're all blown out and stuff. Probably not gonna be too much, uh, too much goodness coming from this. As you can tell, everything's just kind of blown out, destroyed. Check the mailbox, of course. I mean, there's probably yeah, someone got a someone got a piece of mail before the bomb hit. Too bad they never got to read it. They wasted money on their subscription to fighting with fucking fists, which I'd never do, so. We're probably on our way to Megaton, and unlike the other playthrough, I'm really not gonna edit out my happenings with, uh, walking. So we're just gonna let stuff happen as it comes. We're just gonna kinda do that. Now, I'm probably gonna edit out, you know, selling, selling sequences. Once I get into town, I'll probably end, end that video set there, but. And we're, we're already at Megaton. We are already here. I'm just gonna holster my gun. Apparently, you move faster. Like, you move pretty butt slow in this game, I'm not gonna lie. So. What the hell? Where's hey the. There. Oh, okay. I'm just here to. That's oh, just a guard. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. Wow, thanks, Crow. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. Thanks. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually probably going to keep that. I'm going to sell all these BBs and the BB gun and the baseball, the baseball bat, the glove. I'm um, keeping the pins, the eyeglasses, which are whatever. Uh... I don't usually use medics so much, but we're probably gonna keep that. Probably gonna keep some of this stuff initially. And the problem with uh, trading is that you really want to keep track of you know what's going on here. But as you can tell, he doesn't have a whole lot of caps to work with, and uh, huh. I am pretty much already maxing him out. So what you need to do is you know browse his wares. Usually I just go for ammo and weapons, but he doesn't have a whole lot. Like he's he's pretty much got nothing, so I'm just gonna accept that. Give me a shout if you need anything. Protect I'm just gonna accept that. He, he doesn't have shit. 
But we are at Megaton. We are here, and that is the only time I believe you'll ever see that gate close. So, next time what we're going to do is we're going to go in Megaton and see what the people of Megaton have for us to do. And possibly even look for some goodies around the land.